welcome to Veranda IAS. This is a foundation course for environment. In this, we are going to learn about the learning objectives of the environment. Learning objective is about the significance of the scope and importance of the subject in UPSC. Here the subject is environment. In this chapter, we are going to learn about what is environment, why environment is important in UPSC and why we are listening environment in UPSC. This is what we are going to learn in this. First, let's start with what is environment. Environment is a thing which is immediately which is near to you, which may be a physical or may be a human, whatever. If it is a human, then it may be a man-made things like industries or building. If it is a nature, it may be air, a land or things which is naturally present in and around you. It may be an ecosystem too. This is called an environment which simply we will call it as a biotic and abiotic factors which is a living and non-living factors of the environment. Now, let's see why is environment in UPSC. Now, let's talk about this living and non-living organism which is a biotic and non-biotic things which includes species. Species means not only the reptiles and the birds and the animals. It also talks about what species lives where and when. Some kind of species cannot live in all the places. Some lives in a specific place and some gets extinct too. We in this we will learn where species, where it lives and when it comes around and when it gets extinct and why it gets extinct. This comes here and it also talks about the environmental pollution. The pollution may be a man-made or may be a natural made. Man-made may be because of uh, industries, mechanical pollutions and things. This may be uh, because of uh, forest fires, land and how it can be cultivated and more. Land means it is not only uh, depends on the soil and the cultivation is not only the agriculture. Land means there are more kind of lands. There may be a step cultivation, there may be a slope thing and this cultivation is not only the agri, it may be the horticulture, this may be the verticulture, this may be horticulture, sericulture and everything. Sericulture talks about the silkworm, verticulture talks about the grapes and agriculture talks about the land cultivation which depends on the soil. Why environment and UPSC means? UPSC wants to know all the geographical features of the environment because an, a person can be placed anywhere in the department. So, when you know about the environment, it is easy for you to protect the species, protect the agriculture and the cultivatable land. So, why environment we are learning in the UPSC syllabus. And the thirdly main thing is why environment is important in UPSC. Before 2013, Indian Forest Service was not linked with the civil service examination. After 2013, Forest Service preliminary was linked with civil service exam so that the weightage of the environment increased in the every prelims question paper. Comparatively, when you analyze the previous year questions, the environment plays a predominant role. By example, in 2020, there plays a more than 10 plus questions in the prelims and more than 5 questions in the mains. This comes here. So why important in the environment in the UPSC gets more. The environment in this not only with the subject of biology and thing, it goes with the geography for physical and the climatical changes. We need to know the physical and the climatical structure of the India and the landscape where we live. And now we learnt about importance in UPSC about the environment. And finally, we are going to learn how to prepare for environment. First, we need to know the basics of ecology. Not only for environment, for everything, whenever we start learning, we need to know the basics of the thing. When we learn environment, basically we should know what ecology system is. Why ecology system is? Because ecology here talks about the basics of the land where the species live and what are the species lives where. 
and this comes under ecology. So, this is why ecology is very important in the environment and we need to learn the conceptual facts. When it comes to ecology, there will be a specific definition for ecology and when it comes to environment, there is a specific concepts for the environment. And when it is a environment, there will be a different kind of terms like aquatic environment or man-made environment or maybe a natural environment, there will be a specific definition for each and every topic. So, we need to learn all the conceptual facts and we should have the things. And there is a difference between a concept and fact. Concept means which is a theory which can be, you can modify it with the same meaning. Factual thing is like it is a fact which is present as it is. Means if it is an aquatic ecosystem, it is based on only a lake and only a pond. But when it comes to the pond, you can elaborate it like lake may be a fresh water or maybe a salt water. These kind of species are present there and these kinds of species will not be present there. And when it comes to the fact and factual, you should know the difference between that and you should learn accordingly and make notes accordingly. And this is how we need to prepare the environment. Now, next let's see about the points in the thing which is better to analyze 8 years of question paper. And now let's discuss why we are going to discuss about the 8 years of question paper here. And what is the link or uh, how to link the topics with the current affairs also. So now there is a connect connection between these two points which means that when we analyze last 8 years of question paper and when we know how to link the topic with the current affairs. Let's have an example of a glacier melt which is that glacier melts repeats for more than a year which comes for past at least 10 years. So at least we will get one question paper in that. So when you know the regular current affairs, it's like when it started melting, how much it metal, melted, what are the animals present in that glacier area, what are the continents have glaciers and when it started melting. So at least we will have one question. So when you analyze at least 8 years of previous year question paper, you will get at least one question in that. It is not only about the glacier melt, you will also have the other questions like the vegetations or sometimes of a heavy rainfall. At what are the things we will get into is when you analyze the last 8 years of question paper, at least we will get one or two questions in the next years of question paper. And now here comes the syllabus. Whatever you learn, we need more about the syllabus. Without syllabus, we cannot learn anything about it. For prelims, we need to know the general issues of the environment, ecology, biodiversity and climate change. There is a difference between ecology, environment and biodiversity. We should know the difference between each and everything. Climate change occurs is not only because of a man-made, it also because of the natural things. General issues of the environment related with the environment, ecology, biodiversity and climate change should be noted each and every time, not only based on the current affairs, but based on the conceptual and factual points too. You should not always have the subject specialization. Whenever, whatever subject we need for a current affairs, we need to link with the concepts and factuals. For mains, environment 3 comes under the GS paper 3. For things, con conservation, environmental pollution and degradation. Environmental impacts and assessments, disaster management, this all comes under the major main topics of the environment. We need to know all about the EIA facts, EIA agreements, EIA everything about the EIA, why in EMA is implemented, when implemented, what is a conservation and why environment is more important for us. This comes under the main topic. Now, what does UPSC test in you? Primary understanding or understanding of the subject is very important for the UPSC. The basic question for the environment is maximum from the concepts or from the factual. They will be asking from here, what are the new species in the current affairs? Maybe based on the zoological park, maybe based on the climate changes or maybe based on the geographical basics of like, for how the western guards, where the western guard starts and where it ends. 
what are the species are depend on the western ghats what are the vegetations are done what are the monsoon seasons this is how the upsc will test in you when they wants to test as a basic points this is how it comes now we learnt about what is environment why environment is important and why environment in upsc why environment is important in upsc how we need to study environment how we need to prepare for prelims and mains what are the important points how many years question paper we need to go through this this is how we need to learn this is a learning objective for environment thank you